Hey guys, welcome back to Genshi Plans. Uh, today I have a very special guest on the channel with me. This is my husband, Chino. Hello, in TV land. Um, and the reason that I have him with me here today is that uh, he set up his first Bujo a couple of weeks ago. And I just wanted to talk to him about it and see how it's going. Mm -hmm. So you want to tell my viewers what uh, what you set up and what you're using? Um, yes, uh, I'm using a very basic bullet journal um, that was, uh, it's based on the system set up by... Ryder Carroll? Ryder Carroll, mm -hmm. yes. And um, yeah, Ganchi had me watch, uh, it was like a five minute video, yeah. um, about how to set it up. Um, I mean, mine's not too complicated, I just set up my, um, my monthly here, and my weekly here, and my daily as, as well. And, and it went well for the first uh, three weeks. But, uh, works just, I, I'm only using this for work, and, um, the main reason is that I'm a very disorganized person. Um. Sorry, I'm nodding like I'm like, yes, yeah. you're very disorganized, but no, I totally get it. Yeah, and I've been crying for help at work for years now, but I've gotten nothing, and... The idea came to me <laughs> really late in the relationship to ask her for help uh, with organizing my life. Um, so here we are. Actually, it's been pretty empowering, I th I'd, I'd say, um, mostly because it it's a very organized way I mean it's really helping me order my mind and the pro my priorities mm -hmm. on you know on a daily basis and on a weekly basis especially because um, my work's primarily project based so you know the my projects last from like 48 to 50 plus weeks and I have a lot of other things on my mind that are, that are more important than work. <laughs> and, um, you know, I, uh, I can't, I can't remember everything. I can remember names real well, but you can. not stuff that I have to take care of in order to <laughs> keep my family fed. <laughs> <laughs> this is an aside that it occurs to me that if you're finding things are like, life things are distracting you while you're working on work things and you don't want to stop what you're doing at work to focus on the life mm -hmm. thing. I find a sticky note is a really good way to avoid putting it all in your work bujo because I have them separate as mm -hmm. well. I've done videos um, about my work bujo as well. I'll link one of them in the corner. Um, but so if I'm like at my desk at work, I, like my, my planner is available, like it's in my purse, but I don't want to pull it out and stop what I'm doing so I just have a post-it note and I'll just jot down like you know buy milk mm -hmm. and then I know I won't forget I can just take that sticky note and bring it home with me mm. yeah I mean I yeah, wish I my know. brain worked that way <laughs> but it might start to once you yeah do things for a while. yeah know. maybe yeah maybe what will get me um what's the word institutionalized <laughs> and uh you know to-do lists are powerful things. They are. I mean, I, I, I've always told, as, as a youth, I always told my mother, if, if it's not on a, on a list, don't expect me to remember it. So I've always had to-do lists since I was in high school. You know your mom told me that when we first started dating. <laughs> yeah, she told me, if you need him to do something, write it down. <laughs> it's true. Um... I've been really impressed with how quickly you've caught on to the system. Like, I know it's simple, and I've gone back to basics mm -hmm. myself, you know, when I need to. Um, but, you know, just coming from, you've been unplannered for so long yeah. um, that, you know, 
like we've tried having like household to do lists and I'm sometimes the only one who uses it. I figured you just weren't a list person. Yeah. Oh no, I, I well I need I need them. <laughs> I just don't make them. <laughs> right. It, it's it's sort of like you know, I love everything to be neat and tidy and clean, but at the same time, I'm a real slob and I'm very disorganized. And let's not look at my desk, please. Yes, this camera is angled yeah. carefully towards my curated <laughs> wall hanging. Yeah. Um, and you know, it's it's embarrassing. Uh, it's embarrassing sometimes when you know I'm I'm in a meeting and. You know, there's a coworker next to me, and I'm just jotting down stuff, and um, and it's just scribbles. Like, in in school, I I take excellent notes, and everything is uh, laid out, color coded. I've seen them; they're pristine. Um, but uh, that's that's when I'm able to to figure out how to pace myself within a class. But at work. The pace just changes so much, so quickly, uh, all the time, and you know you're 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 there to maximize your value. So sometimes I I think that's also I you know I need to change my mindset and just just accept the fact that it's okay for me to just ignore emails for the first. You know, half hour of the day or 45 minutes of the day hour of the day and set up my day or my week because in the long run I mean these these first these first two weeks three weeks were, were pretty amazing I got so much done and and um, I was really worried going into these for you know the mid May end of May um, seemed pretty daunting for me because I was assigned a new project and there was just a lot of stuff to deal with within such a short amount of time and there's still this other project that I'm working on that that hasn't wrapped up yet and both require a lot of a lot of attention and. Just having the list really helped me stay on top of things, helped me prior to prioritize things for the day so that I wouldn't have to worry about, you know, not being, you know, just forgetting about it over the course of a week. And, um, you know, and just crossing off each item was very... Satisfying. Yeah, I mean, it was... It was it was like a, a breath of fresh air. It was very relieving because I'm 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 stressing out a lot uh -huh. right now, and I may be you know uh, just sort of compartmentalizing it or something like that. But you know when I wait when I when I'm on my way to work, it's it can, it can be kind of a drag. I do appreciate say. that you're able to separate your work life yeah. and your family life. And and uh, that's another thing too. Like, I, I make it a point to divide to split those two, and so when um, when I just start thinking about stuff that has to deal with my family time. My brain's just one hundred percent thinking about that because it's more to me it's more important. So so all this stuff I can just you know just toss it aside and mm -hmm. uh, you know. But um, yeah, I definitely need to keep my work bujo and my personal bujo separate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I think um, I think I'm okay with uh, keeping. My personal, I guess, to-do list, maintaining it at uh, fly by the seat of your pants kind of pace. Because all of the organization is in my planner. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, and, I mean... Uh, I'm glad this is working. You were saying that um, last week, towards the end of last week, and towards the end of May, like the end of the month, you were yeah. starting to get overwhelmed that... Was it because you were spending too much time with your bujo or not enough, do you think? Not enough, mm. for sure. Um, and, I, and I think, you know, I think it goes back to me having to change my way of thinking and accepting that it's okay to set aside time to plan because... As soon as I get in, I'm thinking, hey, maybe I'll take care of some of these emails, you know, uh, help out some people who may need questions, because um, our company is sort of all over the country, so there are some people who are getting up three hours before I do and who are already doing things, and there's just a lot of urgent stuff. Um, but in retrospect, a lot of other stuff suffers down the line and it ends up, it ends up making me less productive in the long run by addressing this person's question within you know the first five minutes of walking into the office so I think for me it's just stuff that I have to work on personally it's a mindset getting used to writing something down before you do it yeah. or you know stopping what you're doing to make it a list. Yeah. But like I definitely find, especially with work stuff, that, but with home stuff too, that if there's too much of it that's not written down, it starts to feel even more overwhelming than it actually is. And as soon as you write it down, you realize, oh, it's only five things. Yeah. Yeah. And also, one thing too is that when you go to check off an item on your list, you know, you go back into planning mode temporarily. Mm. And so as you're, for at least for, for my experience, as I'm crossing off that thing, then a few of the other things that were just kind of verbally requested of me or passed on to me um, that I didn't write down, they sort of pop back up and mm. I think, oh, yeah, uh, you know, such and such said they need this. Let me write that down real That's quick. And so it, it, it helps me re recalibrate throughout mm -hmm. the course of the day and it helps me stay on, on top of things. So yeah. I, um, it's, it's helpful at the beginning of the day and throughout the course of the day to just maintain it, um, but, you know, these past, the past two weeks, let's see, past two weeks, I, uh, I thought it would help me if I used my daily for taking notes from a conference call I had with our client, and it just, it went from really nice and neat, <laughs> to just like vomit and <laughs> just a random white space, lack of order here. Um, my, my handwriting just went south. My lines just became way more squiggly and crooked than they normally were. Did and that make you feel like you wanted to look at it less? Yeah. Yeah, and especially because I wasn't making use of my white space well. Um, I, I kind of gave up on, on the page. And... Yeah, so, uh, you know, I, I have I have another notebook specifically for... for my work notes, like meeting notes. Uh-huh. Um, so you think you're gonna go back to that? No, no, I, I prefer... I prefer having the bullet journal for organizing my day and my priorities, which which I really need. That's mm -hmm. like my number one um, personal improvement thing goal. that I need. Goal, yeah, that I need to 
I need to accomplish. Mm -hmm. But as far as, you know, taking notes, writing down calculations or stuff like that, you know, I have the other, the other notebook. Yeah, and if that's not broke, don't fix it. Yeah, I mean, uh, that that's going to be something else in the future. First, I just need to be able to stay on top of what I do. And then mm -hmm. as far as, you know, being able to go through my notes later on. It, I mean, it's it, it's going to be a mess for me later down the line if I can't organize any of yeah. my project notes. Because sometime, sometimes I spend like an hour and a half going through loose paper or napkins and stuff. Because I'm, you know, I'm writing down anything and everything just on sheets of paper that I can find in my, on my messy desk at work. The stuff that will end up on your daily to-do list? Or the stuff that ends up in your project pages? Yeah, the, the stuff that ends up in my project pages. I think as a as a, a life tool, as a tool mm -hmm. for success in life, I think this is, this is, this has been a game changer. You heard it here first, folks. Um, <laughs> you haven't really been using collections, right? Mostly just... Yeah, like, which ones are the co collections again? The collections are the everything else pages. Stuff that's not... So, like, say you're having this meeting. Mm -hmm. You want to keep notes about your project on a collections page for that project. Oh, yes. Um, you're mostly using your other project notebook for that. Yeah, yeah. Mostly because I just want to get a hang of this this element first, just prioritizing my day. And I think that's wise. I think a lot of people you see, um, especially the ones who are drawn to like the decorative community online, mm -hmm. um, will try to do too much too soon with their bujos. Mm -hmm. They'll be like, oh, well, I can make a spread that tracks, you know, how many glasses of water I drink every day for a year. Mm -hmm. And then they fall off the wagon for a week and suddenly everything's falling apart. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you gotta start slow. Yeah. And I, in your case, just getting into the habit of writing down tasks is yeah. step one. Yeah, I, yeah, for me, my, my main goal is to pr be able to figure out how to prioritize my day um, because I have this tendency to try to help out and try to do too many things at once for a number of reasons you know you know this person at this department needs something this person needs this then you know the, the client needs this and um, sometimes it's hard to say no, uh, it's, and sometimes it's because one task takes two minutes, right. and then, and then, then you think, oh, it's just two minutes, let me just, you know, stop what I'm doing with this, uh, five day long thing here, and go work on the two minute thing, and then the two minute thing can turn into five minutes, or ten minutes, or or you're in the middle of something that's really important for the five-day task. And then you get sidetracked and it takes mm -hmm. you an hour to get back. Yeah. yeah, and just having to reset and find your place your flow. back in. Mm -hmm. And it, it's, it's very disruptive. Um, Whereas you can write down the task in five seconds and come back to it when you're you know taking a break from your flow. Yeah, yeah. And, and another thing, too, is... You know, I have I have a schedule that that I I'm supposed to agree to follow. Mm. Um, that a number of other people have um, sort of established, and so my job is to try to follow that schedule as closely as possible. Um, and the thing is. Um, it can sort of make things feel more urgent than they are, or they can make my day or my week more tense because there's a looming deadline coming. 
and um, that sort of kind of compounds on the immensity of the week at hand. Uh -huh. So it, it's easy for me to sort of um, just brush aside the the importance of work of planning the day because you know there's there are these five five or six things that require a lot of time and they need to get done right away and who cares about planning because you know we know these are the priority mm -hmm. um, but you know what it ends up being that something else can push aside those priority items so easily and um, it kind of throws things off and so if I don't write things down then um, I lose track of you know what I should be doing and I get set back you know a day or so and then the challenge for the week ends up being bigger than what it could have been if I had just stuck to the plan. I think it's a, it's a Carrie Harling quote. I don't know where she got it, but that your brain is for, you know, I think she may have gotten it from David Allen, paraphrasing, but that your brain is for processing, not for storage. Mm. And so if you're able to store the things on paper externally, you free up all of that, you know, mental RAM yeah, yeah. to really focus on those five big things. Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, I agree, because if you're just keeping mental notes, it's it's taxing yeah. to have to try to recall stuff mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in the order that they should be recalled. Right. Um, from least important to most important, or most important to least important. And then when you get just a sudden request, you know, you got to shuffle that around mentally, but it's right. easier to just see it visually yeah. and physically shuffle it around. Yeah. Well, before we close out, I wanted to ask if you could tell us what the cover you're using and your your physical system. Uh, cover I'm using... Um, the cover I'm using is uh, this leather um, organizer planner that you've had this since what high school I, I've had this since I was maybe a sophomore in high school uh, back in 2000 the year 2000 and it's from, from nine, it's from Wilson's leather uh, they're out of business now <laughs> because they couldn't convince my mom to stay and work for them ah uh, that was their downfall yeah yeah it's always nice to have something that's like genuine leather. It just makes it feel yeah. more... I, I just love holding my file of facts, you know. I love the smell. Mm. Um, this is a um, half letter good. size disc bound system they've got in here. You got the... It's the Staples Arc system, right? The ring? Yeah, the, the yeah. this is the Staples Arc. Um, I think you can see remnants of that in the back here. Oh yeah, you still have a couple blank spreads. Yeah. Um, I, I, I bought this maybe... I bought these, uh, say maybe seven years ago, when I was president of the Newman Club uh, in college, because I figured I had my team of officers, and we were going to have a team building meeting, or a little retreat, and so I got them some cool stuff to help them stay on top of things. Fancy. Um... And then uh, I'm just using, but you know, I, I, I actually haven't used any of these. Um, yeah, I printed out sheets. some like Peanuts Planner Co. freebies and stuff for yeah. you, and it was just seemed too overwhelming until I'm like, you know what, you really need to go back to basics. So I just printed out a bunch of um, dot grid, five, five millimeter dot grid from incompetech.com, yeah. and um, just using that as if you would a regular old Leuchtturm or whatever. Yeah, what's really nice about this is that it's the spacing for the dots is close enough to where 
you have this guideline that's that helps you write straight and at the same time there is a lot of white space around so it doesn't look cluttered and it's just more it's just more um, easy on the eyes I would say and that great. yeah um, yeah it's just easier to look at mm -hmm. I would say um, it's nice to have it's nice it's nice to control how much white space you have and um, it, yeah, it just makes it easier to look at. I'm glad you have a new convert to dot grid. Um, and yeah, I mean, I have my business cards that I can uh, put in here. <laughs> Oops, pens. We've got a, a zebra multi. Yeah. So these are all the colors you use. Yeah, I think I, I found this on my desk. Well, actually, so I have a tendency to wait for people to who leave the company and I swoop in on their uh, stuff. Smart, smart. So I've been grabbing these pens off of people who've left the company <laughs> over the past couple of years. Um, I like multicolored pens. But you're not color coding. No, not You're just switching no. colors on a whim. Yeah, it's not very right bohemian of you. I like it. Oh, thanks. <laughs> yeah, I just run out of ink. <laughs> Whereas, no, I mean me. I, if I run out of ink, oh well. I guess my brain is done for the day because I can't write anything down. Because oh. heaven forbid, the only other writing implement available is a blue pen. <laughs> can't have that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I uh, I'll get there probably. <laughs> I'll get there. Oh dear. Yeah, but in the meantime, you know, my mode is just. It's good. It's 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 working for you. I like. I'm yeah. so glad. Yeah, I'm 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 really thankful for you. Oh well. And and this. And Ryder Carol. <laughs> Thank you so much for agreeing to sit down with me. Thanks, love. Yeah. It takes a lot thing. to pull him on camera, um, but yeah. Really glad that you got to share a little bit of, of your point of view because I think um, our planner community on YouTube and Instagram and everything can become, I mean, not an echo chamber in a bad way, but we see it's like a feedback loop of like decorative envy. And we're like, ooh, where's that sticker shop? But it's always good to remember to go back to basics every so often and see that it's useful for like people who are not creative, because I think a lot of people, if you had heard of the bullet journal and Googled it and found Instagram, you would have been like, yeah, that, that's not for me. Yeah. But, yeah, just going to the, like, the basic source, five minute video. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, life changing. Yeah, awesome. Pretty good. Well, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss more of my videos. I play, um, put up planner videos every Thursday and lifestyle videos every Sunday. You're more likely to see him in those. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.